What is up, people? This time around, we're going to be reviewing something different, not Gundam-related at all. It is time for another Assassin's Creed action figure review. Now, uh, I re reviewed the Assassin's Creed Revelations uh, uh, action figure quite some time ago, and I was supposed to follow with the uh, Assassin's Creed, uh, I think it was Brotherhood Hidden Blade prop, but uh, that recently just got destroyed and... A bad computer malfunction. All that footage is gone, and I have to reshoot it. I haven't had time to do that. So, uh, in the meantime, I'll be reviewing this action figure. Now, this is from Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. This is the newest game to come out, and we're looking at Edward Kenway. Very cool, cool character. I like him a lot better than, uh, than Connor. He's already way better than Connor in every way possible. Anyways, this is the package. Now, this is from McFarlane Toys, and uh, if you've ever followed the Assassin's Creed action figures, you'll know that um, NECA, I think that's what the company's called, NECA did the figures for quite some time. They did them for a, a long, long time, uh, and they were really, really good, but um, unfortunately, the only down part of those figures were that the paint the paint jobs on them were not always the best. Uh, the best job they did was with the Re Revelations figure. But, um, so McFarland took over. So they're now the, the new makers of these action figures. And it's quite nice. The figure is very, very nice. And uh, we're going to take a look at it. Whoa, almost destroy the background. So anyways, on the uh, front of the package, you'll see Assassin's Creed. It doesn't say what game or, uh, or no, which, which volume, but it says the first uh, Assassin's Creed title right there. And uh, this is Series 1. This is the first figure I've gotten from the series. It says Edward Kenway right there, and I'll have a little Series 1 logo right there. Anyways, you'll get uh, a little exclusive content, a little download code if you want for the action figure. A picture of the action figure character itself, which is Edward. And then you'll get uh, in the back all the figures that are in the series. Now, so far they've only released four of them, I believe, or at least that's the only ones I've been able to find. And that is Edward, uh, Blackbeard, uh, this really Native American looking Connor with his uh, tyranny or whatever of George Washington costume. And then uh, I believe regular Connor is also out. So that leaves Hatham and uh, New York version Connor, uh, Benjamin, and Black Bart. Uh, so I guess they're going to release those four figures uh, in the rest of the series a little bit later. So that's pretty much it. That's the package itself. And uh, on the bottom, you'll, you'll get something also on the bottom. That's the little exclusive content you can download. It's just a couple of swords. Nothing really important. But anyways, let me go ahead and crack this package open, and then we can go ahead and take a look at the figure itself. Yay. First things first, let's see how much uh, smaller these figures are compared to the original NECA. And so I'm going to bring in the Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Oof. Yikes. All right, that's way smaller. Uh, this is the Assassin's Creed Brotherhood Ezio. This is a, I think it was Toys R Us exclusive because he has no hood on. But yeah, there you go. A lot smaller compared to the original NECA. But that's okay because this is Series 1 and uh, we're starting fresh. So we can go ahead and take those figures out. Articulation is pretty great. Uh, as you can see right here, the arm can move up and down. It can also rotate. I'm very sure good 360, but uh, I'm not going to do that because the leather armor is in the way. Uh, it can bend at the elbows like that and also swirl. Um, you can also go 360 with the hand. And as the, yeah, the uh, forearm does rotate also, so you can do that. Uh, there's no articulation in the torso, so that's, uh, that's a little sad. Uh, articulation in the legs, you can go ahead and bend at the ankle like that, and uh, bend the knee. Some good articulation in these knees and elbows. Um, you can, I'm pretty sure you can move the leg up, but uh, this is some pretty stiff armor, rubber armor, rubber it's pretty stiff uh, cloth of what it's supposed to be. Anyways, it's it's very stiff uh, plastic right here for the uh, skirt armor, or just the skirt. So it doesn't want to get out of the way. It's uh, it's hindering the uh, leg articulation. But um, 
Yeah, that's that's too bad. Anyways, you do get some. Do you, can you move at the torso? Yeah, you can move at the torso actually. Uh, you can turn it, but it's very very stiff, and I'm not going to do it just because I don't want to break it. Uh, the head can move, uh, I believe, 360, but I'm going to show you that later. Uh, cool little thing with the hood. It can come off, but like I said, I'll show it later. Let's go ahead and do a full head to toe closer look at the figure itself. Head to toe. Very, very nice paint job on this figure. McFarland has always done a great job with the, with the paint on its action figures. Uh, something new that they've really been getting into is now just the articulation, and I, I think they're getting a good handle on it. Just the torso that I wish moved. You can look in the back, and you can see a lot more paint and uh, sculpting. Really great looking figure up and down. Yeah, very, very nice. Let me go ahead and show you guys that uh, removable hood and uh, the articulation that goes in the head. Now to remove the hood, it's uh, not too difficult, but you do have to be careful because uh, like all figures from McFarland's or NECA, uh, parts are very fragile and they can break very easily without you knowing it. Uh, the hood though is safe to remove uh, and be as aggressive with it as possible or as you want. It's just the uh, straps and stuff <clears throat> that are covering the hood that keep it in place but uh, anyways so the hood is very 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 uh, malleable and it comes off very easily it's a nice soft rubber and uh, so there it is came off and there is a nice little sculpt of Edward Kenway and uh, his head like I said does rotate 360 but I'm not going to do that just because it it's, it's stiff and I don't want to really chance it on breaking it. Uh, the only thing is though he doesn't have his long hair, uh, no ponytail in the back there, so uh, it's it's not completely accurate but uh, it is a cool little little gimmick and uh, you can really just see the uh, sculpt on the face. It's really really nice. I like it a lot. So with that all shown now we can just go ahead and move right into the accessories and uh, there's not too many but they are fun to look at. Accessories are pretty simple, but you only get six of them in total, and uh, they start off with the Kenway family swords. Now, these swords are actually playable in the game when you purchase this figure, and uh, you will get a little code sheet, which I'll show you uh, what it has on that after all this. Uh, but you get two of them. They're very, very, very nicely painted. Got that nice little metallic color and everything, and the handles are brown. So uh, these are nice-looking swords in uh, general. Putting those away, you get also, of course, what assassin doesn't have them, hidden blades. Now, these are the retracted uh, versions, and uh, they are a simple uh, peg operating, you know, system to attach them to the figure's forearms. And I'll show you uh, the little holes right now. The uh, figure has holes on the forearms right there, and you can just put them in uh, very simply, or very simply. And see, can I do it on camera? Yay, I can do it on camera. So there it is. The uh, blade is now attached. And then you also get two uh, extended blades. And these are uh, painted the same way. They're basically the same. Just, uh, you know, extended. And let's go ahead and put that in to his forearm. Can it go in? First try, yay. So there you go. There is the hidden blade. Um, nothing too spectacular with accessories. Like I said, this is very basic right now. Um, you can pretty much get all the other figures and swap around figure or parts and such as much as you want. But um, you got to buy all the other figures, and you know that's that's just up to you. Um, but like I said, let's go ahead and look at that sheet that you get that I was referring to and uh, show you exactly how this whole thing works with the downloadable content and everything. So what do you get when you buy one of these Assassin's Creed figures? Well you get a little sheet like this that is uh, folded at the bottom of the figure and uh, like I said with the Ken or Kenneth or sorry Edward Kenway figure <clears throat> you do get the uh, Kenway family swords. Um, down below is just a list of other things you get with the um, other figures you buy, you can get an achievement uh, unlocked, you can get different sales uh, for your ship. There's one like Black Bart and Blackbeards, and uh, I think you get Connors as well. And then you get also a uh, different 
colored outfit for Edward also. So this is all exclusive, and there is a code on the back of the sheet, which I'm not going to be showing you mine because, well, I want to use it. So um, that's pretty much it for downloadable content. Uh, with that all being shown, it's now time to go into final thoughts. Yay! To begin these final thoughts, I'm going to go ahead and tell you all my negatives, and there's hardly any at all with this series, but um, to start off, I usually hate restarting um, a collection of something, so it, when NECA let go of the uh, figure making for Assassin's Creed and McFarlane's took over, I was kind of disappointed because I knew that all the figures I had purchased already were pretty much shit, and I like to keep in, I like to keep figures kind of together, um, if that makes sense. And I knew these, these figures are going to be a lot smaller. But, I have to say, with this first series, uh, with all the positives, uh, I'm really happy. So let me go ahead and go with the negatives, and uh, there's really hardly any. Um, the first being is that McFarlane is mostly known for, and at least in my mind, um, paint and sculpt. They've never really been that great in articulation, but with this figure... Um, they have reached some strides and they have shown how much they've grown and what they've learned over the years. Uh, the only down part is that there is no good articulation in the torso at all. And that's usually sad because with an assassin figure, you want there to be some sort of articulation in the chest, uh, you know, to look like it's doing a dive or something like that, if whatever way you want to pose it. Anyways, um, the other second part is that... Um, the accessories. There's not many accessories. There's only like six, and they're pretty generic. So I was hoping to get some guns and stuff like that, um, but that's okay. Now on to the positives, and leading off from that whole accessories or lack thereof, um, the cool thing is that you can switch around accessories from the other figures. So if you want Edward to carry around like a bunch of guns, I'm pretty sure you can not only just put them in his hand and stuff like that, but uh, you can probably strap them on them somehow by switching out belts because these little straps are removable and uh, they probably can be removed from the other figures and put onto different figures as well. <clears throat> the other part is that there is a um, great paint job done to the figure. The sculpt is great. Uh, the art articulation is fair even though I did say that I would have liked to have seen some in the torso. Um, overall this figure is generally very very good and I like how they did the uh, hidden blades. Nekin really never did a great job with the hidden blades and um, <clears throat> now that they they're not doing it anymore and McFarlane figured out the right way to do it I'm really happy about that. Um, also a plus is the little bonus features you get with the purchase of a, a figure. You can download whatever. Um, so that's it. This is pretty much a great figure. It's uh, affordable still. It's in the $14.99 range, and I got this one at GameStop. I haven't seen them at Toys R Us yet, so um, I don't know if it's exclusive or what. <clears throat> but these figures are really good, uh, really nice. I can't wait to get more. And uh, that's pretty much it. So thank you, Assassin's Creed fans. Hope you enjoyed this review. Uh, stay tuned for more. I promise to get that Hidden Blade review out pretty soon. And uh, take care, guys. Bye.